Today, anyone can create a stunning Shopify store and start selling products globally online. However, the challenge for many new stores is increasing conversion rates and sales. So today I'm going to share seven simple actions that anyone can take to instantly increase conversion rates and ultimately drive more sales. Okay, so just quickly before we go ahead and launch into this brief Shopify guide, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and increase your store's conversion rates and drive more sales with these seven simple actions. Okay, so the first action that we want to look at that anyone can execute in order to drive more sales in Shopify is to increase markets. To do this, simply log into your Shopify store and then navigate down to settings. Here we just need to locate markets over on the left hand side. Here you can see the different markets that you sell your products to. You might notice that you're missing some markets that you want to sell your products to. For example, this Shopify store, Go Digital Now, sells digital products. So for me, I want to access every market. This is because my digital products are suitable for everyone and I don't have to worry about shipping. So I want every market, every country to be able to purchase my digital products. To add additional markets, simply navigate up to Add Market. Then simply name your market and choose the different countries, regions that you want to add to that market. If we navigate over to Not in any market, you can see that I already sell to every market. So I'm going to close this. And again, this just depends on the nature of your business. Maybe you can't send your products to specific markets and therefore you do not want to add that market here. However, by adding all the markets that you sell to here, you will ultimately increase your marketplace accessing different customers around the world, which will ultimately drive more sales. Next, we want to take a look at payment methods. Simply navigate over to the left hand side under settings and click on payments. Under payments, you want to ensure that you have multiple different payment methods for your customers to use. This gives them different payment options that they can use to purchase your products. The more payment options that you offer your customers, the better. For example, these are all the different payment options that my customers can use to make payments. They can make a payment through PayPal. They can also use Visa, credit card, as well as these other options like American Express, Union Pay, as well as Shop Pay, Apple Pay, and Google Pay. Now, depending on the country that your Shopify store is registered, you'll have different options in terms of payment methods. If you have the option to enable Shopify payments and PayPal, I recommend you setting up those payment methods. These are the two most popular payment methods inside Shopify. Shopify payments includes all these different payment methods like I mentioned earlier, and then PayPal is just a popular method that a lot of customers like to use. You can also come down here and add additional payment methods. If you're in a country that doesn't offer Shopify payments, then what you wanna do is search for the different payment providers, sign up and add those here. The key is to add the most common payment methods for your customers to use. This is going to reduce the friction at checkout and reduce the abandoned checkouts and ultimately drive more sales. Now, speaking of abandoned checkouts, the next action that you can take to drive more sales is to enable abandoned cart and abandoned checkout email automations. And one of the best and free email marketing apps that you can integrate with your Shopify store is called OmniSend, which allows you to easily enable abandoned cart and abandon checkout email automations. And the great thing about OmniSend is it's completely free to use until you reach a contact limit. Essentially, what you wanna do inside OmniSend's automations is enable the abandoned cart email automation as well as the abandoned checkout email automation. And you can customize these email automations the way that you like. The great thing about OmniSend is they offer templates that you can simply customize the way that you like. Each of these automations will trigger when a customer abandons your cart or they reach the checkout and they fail to follow through with a payment. These two automations will trigger a sequence of emails with the focus of trying to convert that customer over a series of emails. And this is by incentivizing that customer that left the cart or checkout with an attractive offer like a discount. If you're interested in learning more about using OmniSend for email marketing activities like setting up an abandoned cart or abandoned checkout email automation, then what I'll do is add a beginner's OmniSend tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just want to mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM 
built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Next, we want to talk about product reviews. Product reviews are incredibly important for driving more sales through social proof. Typically, before a customer makes a purchase, they want to look at product reviews and testimonies. They want to know what other people are saying about your product. And there's two ways that I recommend you do this. The first way is manually adding product reviews on your website. For example, if we jump into my Shopify store and navigate over to the home page, you can see that we have recommendations and reviews under the home page. Now within our primary menu, you can see we also have book reviews. And if a website visitor clicks here, that's going to anchor them down on the home page to the recommendations and reviews section here. And as you can see, I've manually added these reviews down here. Now you also want reviews on your product pages. For example, let's navigate down here and look for our primary product, which is this ebook here, Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. You can see in the images, over here, I've got a testimony over here. And if we navigate down to the description, you can see I've also added a review in here. Then if we navigate down the product page, I've also added testimonies and reviews down here. Again, this is going to help drive social proof and increase your conversion rates. Now you can also automate this process using OmniSend's reviews. This is a new feature that OmniSend offers and in just a few clicks, you can simply add a product review section on your product pages. This method allows your customers that have made purchases to add reviews to your product pages. OmniSend also allows you to add this star rating next to your pricing, which will show your potential customers a quick star rating of your product. And this is based on the reviews that your customers will leave. The great thing about OmniSend reviews is it integrates with your email marketing activities inside OmniSend. This means you can send email marketing campaigns to your existing customers so that you can directly ask your customers to leave a review. And you can also offer incentives in return for a review. This could be a discount on their next purchase. So again, adding manual reviews across your Shopify store and automated reviews using OmniSend on your product pages is going to help you increase conversion rates by displaying social proof. Next, we wanna take a look at product images. You wanna make sure that you're adding high quality images on your product page that shows your customers exactly what they're getting. Whether it's a physical or digital product, you want to visually show the different angles of your physical product or the tools and features of your digital product. And next, we wanna talk about leveraging videos. Now in our product description, on this Shopify store, you can see I have a demonstration of this product directly inside the product description. This is a link to a YouTube video and this video is less than one minute long. Now, if we navigate further down the page, you can see we have a full overview of this product. And again, if I navigate further down this product page, you can see I have a full product tutorial. Videos are a powerful way to show your customers exactly what they're getting. Again, you want to add these helpful videos on your product page as well as in the product description and also on your homepage. And remember these videos can be simple. They can be a quick demo of your product, a tutorial of your product, or even just a quick video of your product being used. You can also go a step further with videos and you can add a tutorials page or a video library to your website. For example, on our Shedify CRM Shopify store, you can see we have video tutorials showing our customers how they can use this product. Another example is if you have a physical product, you could have a video library on your Shopify store with different instructional videos to show your customers how they can properly use that product. Again, adding video content to your Shopify store, your product pages, your homepage, as well as even a video library has many benefits for your customers. And by adding helpful video content to your Shopify store, you will be adding more value to your website visitors and customers, and this will be a factor in increasing conversions. Next, we want to talk about your website copy and in particular your product page copy. This is the text content on your product pages. Essentially, you want to spend as much time as possible crafting a powerful product description. This is going to be the first thing that your customers look at when arriving on your product page. You want to talk about the benefits of your product, how your product works, who your product's for, why people should buy your product, as well as what the customer will gain when they purchase this product. 
Again, depending on what your product is, the way that people craft their description will be different. You also want to make sure that the formatting is correct. You can see up here, we have a heading three. Down here, we have bold formatting for these headers. Then we have regular paragraph content. And then over here, we have heading three, heading three, and then we have bullet points over here. You don't just want to add one block of text. You want to break up your content and make it easy to read and attractive. However, that is it. Those are my seven simple actions that anyone can execute today in order to drive conversions and drive more sales. Now, once you've completed optimizing your Shopify store following these seven actions that I've talked about today, we now want to look at driving more traffic to our Shopify store. To do that, we need to engage in SEO search engine optimization for our Shopify store. If you're interested in learning more about optimizing your Shopify store for SEO, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will help you optimize your website and drive more organic traffic from search engines like Google. Also, what I'll do is add other Shopify tutorials down below in the description to help you get the most out of your Shopify store. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Shopify guide helping you drive more conversions. Now if you have any questions about each of these seven activities, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.